the decorated box transition. You can see on the screen what we will create with this widget. It is an animation and let's do this right now. First thing first, we will need to say with thicker provider state mixin. And I will tell you why we need this later. Next, we will need to create a decoration tween. This one will be equal to a decoration tween. Inside we have the begin and the end. You can see on the screen that we have two different box decoration. One is with the rounded border, with the shadow, and the other one is nothing. So we will create this with those two box decoration. The first one will have the color white, the border will be border style dot none, and the border radius is circular 60. Inside we have the box shadow. This one will be a box shadow with the color black 26, the blur radius, spread radius, and offset. So this first one is this animation right now with the shadow. And now we will create the other one that have nothing. So the end animation will be a box decoration, the color white, the border will be border style dot none, and the border radius will be zero. Okay, so we have created our two box decoration. Now it's time to create an animation controller. This animation controller will have the VSync this, and you will have access to this only if you have the width ticker provider state mixin. Next, we need to have the duration. We will say three seconds, and we will also say that this will repeat with the reverse true. This means the animation will never stop. When we use controller, we always need to dispose the controller. So we create an override dispose controller dot dispose. All the setup is completed. Now it's time to create inside a center widget the decorated box transition. The decoration will be the decoration tween that we have created at the start. You can see it is this final decoration tween. And then you will say dot animate and inside you will put the controller. We have also create this one. You will also need to create a child container. This one will be the width and the height 250, the padding, and the child will be the Flutter logo. And just like this, you have created a decorated box transition with Flutter. And as the name said, this will transition for two different box decoration. 